I love programming. <laughs> My interest in programming started when I was playing video games as a kid. I didn't have my own computer then, but I knew that I wanted to learn programming so I could make my own game eventually. Learning to code was difficult. It took a long time. I went to the library to look for books that could teach me programming, but uh, the books I found, most of them were too difficult for me. Today, it's much easier if you want to learn programming on your own because the internet has lots of useful resources that are, that are easily accessible. As I learned more about programming, it became my main hobby, and I have fond memories of spending hours and hours programming on my calculator in high school. As I learned more, uh, I wanted to study programming at university, so I went on to do that, and I studied computer science. Now I've been programming many years, and I still love it. I still love gaming, too, and Five years ago, I started playing a new game called Minecraft. Minecraft is a game where you explore a blocky world, and you can destroy the blocks, pick them up, uh, collect the blocks, and then build new, stru new structures out of them. Minecraft was amazing because you could explore this world for hours and get lost in it. And you could build almost anything. You could build small, quaint houses or giant imposing buildings. I had a lot of fun just exploring and building in Minecraft, but the graphics were kind of limited. You could only see a certain distance in front of you, and sometimes it was difficult to get a good overview of all the cool things that you had built. So at the same time when I started playing Minecraft, I was interested in learning more about rendering digital images, and I wanted to make a ray tracer a program that can render realistic images of digital worlds. So I started working on a program that would uh, draw nice pictures of my Minecraft world. I call this project Chunky, named after the concept of chunks, which are groups of blocks in Minecraft. The first images my program rendered were simple. There were no textures or shadows, so the images looked artificial. But I had really fun working on my code, and I kept on improving my program and making it better in small steps. So eventually I had added more uh, advanced lighting and shadows and textures, and the images that my program rendered became more realistic and more, much more appealing. So I wanted to share my images, and I went to a Minecraft forum and posted my images there. The response was amazing. People loved the way the images looked, and other people wanted to try my program and, and do the same thing with their Minecraft worlds. <coughs> I decided to upload Chunky and make it free to download for anyone. After I had done that, uh, uploaded the first version, users from the forum started to download it and render their worlds. They went on and shared their images on other websites and forums. And that inspired even more people to download my program and render their worlds. It was really exciting for me to see all the pictures that people were creating and sharing online. But images uh, rendered with Chunky, with my program, have even appeared outside of the internet. A few years ago, I went to a bookstore and I was browsing. And I saw in a shelf there was a Minecraft book. So I picked it up and started looking at it. And I was really excited and surprised to see that the images in the book were created using my program. Minecraft has now become an incredibly popular game. But I think it's much more than just a game. It's a catalyst for creativity. It's almost impossible when you play the game to not be creative. Because you have the possibility to build almost anything you can imagine. There is also a big community of people who make modifications and tools for Minecraft. And they share these creations online on forums. This community is really inspiring to me because people with little programming experience are making really cool things and sharing them. I believe that anyone 
who is interested in video games can see the possibility of modifying a game like Minecraft and be inspired by that to want to learn programming. Just like the idea of being able to make my own game inspired me to learn programming when I was young. I am really happy that my program has been as popular as it became. And I know that it has given many people happiness and inspired at least a few beginner programmers. And that's what I am most proud of. I hope that my story will inspire more people to want to learn programming, because if you learn programming, you can do really cool things. And even in some small way, you can improve the lives of others. Thank you.